Hello everyone and welcome back to the Goomba Girls YouTube channel where today we're going to show you guys how to inject a grain bag. So what you're going to need is a grain bag, obviously. Here we have a three pound grain bag. Um, you can also find one, two pounds, etc. But here we have a three pound grain bag with injection port. You're also going to need liquid culture or a multi-spore syringe. And you're also going to need a syringe. You need the full kit, so the syringe and the needle. Yeah, I didn't really want to say that because YouTube probably going to age restrict this video. Um, but you're also going to need a torch and a lighter. I like prefer a torch just because it doesn't leave that black soot all over the needle. And then you're also going to need 70% isopropyl alcohol, preferably in a spray bottle. Um, and like I said, my last video did get age restricted. So if you guys can leave a comment and a like on it, I'd appreciate it to get it going out there. Um, and you also need the micropore tape. So we're going to start by taking isopropyl alcohol and a clean paper towel. And we're going to just clean the exterior of the bags, the syringe, the whole nine yards. You know how we do. Got to keep everything sanitized. With that being said too, I like to avoid spraying the filter patch on the top of the bag. I've heard people have problems where the filter patch can sometimes like almost rip off or come apart when it gets too soaked with ISO. So just make sure to avoid that and also make sure you leave your ISO on there for a minute 30 seconds to a minute, you know, just let it do its thing. It doesn't work instantly. And then you can go ahead and wipe it off. Okay, and once you are done wiping everything down, or even while you're doing it, I like to manipulate the bag to allow oxygen to get in through the filter patch. Uh, this isn't 100% necessary, but depending on who you buy the bag from, you will notice that it could be super tight, super vacuum sealed, and that can make it hard for the mycelium to grow. So I like to manipulate it around, allow some oxygen in, and then once you're done, make sure you get all the grains and stuff out of the little corners that could be sitting above the rest of them. And that will just ensure that in the future, you're not gonna have to like pick out uncolonized grains from your spawn bag uh, when you go to spawn to bulk. Okay, and here I'm going to take the exterior of the syringe and just spray it down with some ISO and wipe it off. If you just got the, your syringe in the mail, brand new out of the package, you probably don't need to do this, but better safe than sorry. I've had this one sitting in the fridge for like a month or so, and I don't really want it to have any contamination or bacteria on it that I'm gonna be touching and messing around with. Okay, and in the next step, I'm gonna take the syringe needle and I'm gonna screw it on the syringe. First, you're gonna to need to take off the little blue cap or whatever color it is on your syringe. And I'll show you here, you just screw it off, it's really simple, and then you can just screw the syringe on with the cover on so you don't gotta worry about like poking yourself. And all this syringe and needle talk, definitely probably gonna age restrict this video as well. So, you know, leave a comment, leave a like. I appreciate all the support, I really do. I read all your guys' comments. Um, but anyways, just take off the little cover and we are ready to heat sterilize the needle. I also want to mention that you do not need to heat sterilize if you just bought the syringe and haven't used it yet. It's already sterilized from the factory, or at least most likely, depending where you got it, I guess. Um, but I've already used this one, two, three times, so to be safe, we're going to completely get it red. That's going to sanitize, or sterilize, I should say, the needle, and then it'll be ready for use. Okay, and as quickly as you can after sterilizing the needle, you want to inject it into your grain bag. And I like to inject 2.5 to 5 cc's of liquid culture or multi-spore stern solution into the bag, and then immediately take a piece of micropore tape and put it over the injection port. I actually put two layers. I don't know why I do that. I've just always done it. Um, you can get away with just one layer. I've seen people do it with no micropore tape, but I like to be better safe than sorry, so that's why I do that. 
It's also worth me noting that in this video, I'm doing a little mini experiment with how much liquid culture you should theoretically use. So on the right bag, I did four cc's of liquid culture solution. And then on the left bag, I'm gonna do eight cc's of liquid culture, both of the same species, same liquid culture. Um, so I just wanna see if it's gonna colonize any quicker with using more. And here I'm just reheat sterilizing the needle with my torch so that I can fill it up with some more liquid culture for the next grain bag. Okay, and now that we have our syringe filled, we're gonna go ahead and redo all of the steps that we did for the first bag. So we're gonna heat sterilize with a torch, and then we're gonna inject the grain bag and cover it with micropore tape. And especially now, since we have two almost identical bags, one with four cc's of liquid culture and one with eight, I'm gonna wanna make sure to mark it so I know which one is which in the future. Okay, and the last step is to add all of our stuff back into our incubation chamber. So I'm gonna put our liquid culture jar in there, as well as our two grain spawn bags that we just inoculated. And I already know in the comments, I'm gonna have questions asking, what temperature do I store my grain bags at? And that's gonna vary from species to species that you're growing. But for this species here, I'm gonna store mine at 78 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and I also wanna show here, this is exactly one week later, 628, seven days, you can see that the 4cc bag is doing well. It's got some mycelium around the injection port and the bottom, where the 8cc bag has none around the injection port, but it seems like more colonizing on the bottom. And unfortunately, since I'm trying to get this video out ASAP, I'm not for sure yet if more cc's equals quicker colonization times, but hopefully in the next episode, we will know. So thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.